Ba-dum, bum, 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 live from the locker room, friends, live from the locker room. I did an epic haul today. Also, before we get started here, I watched an oldie but goodie, um, City of God today. If you haven't seen City of God, definitely watch it, try to get a hold of it somehow. It's about these Brazilian street gangs, and they... It's like it's it's a story that goes full circle with young kids looking up to the gangsters and then they become gangsters and you know at the very end y the cycle begins again with young kids wanting to be gangsters and they and they do. So it's really really good. It's it's only at least this version. This is a DVD. And it is not in English at all. You have to watch the subtitles. You have to pay attention. But uh, it's it's really, really good. Uh, what else did I watch today? What else did I watch? I watched Skin Trade today. Skin Trade is really good. Excellent movie. You got a 50-something probably year old Dolph Lundgren. Completely kicking ass in this movie with Tony Ja. Um, it's it's kind of like, it's almost like an Expandables type movie because you got three big stars, Michael Jai White's in it also. Plays a bad guy, which was to me really disappointing because, you know, I love Michael Jai White as a good guy. He's like one of my favorite action heroes that I've been watching for at least 10 years, ever since he was in the Mike Tyson movie. And um, I'll just briefly say, um, that this movie is definitely worth watching. It's been found uh, at the local Dollar Trees. So definitely try to grab one uh, for a dollar. I mean, you cannot beat that at all. Especially for a good movie. It's not an average movie. It's good. All right, so um, Dolph Lundgren ends up... Um, he, they're both, they're both sex, uh, sex slave... Uh, police officers, like detectives, they're in the investigation for um, human trafficking, I should say. And there's one sting that ends up going wrong. Um, Dolph, or Ivan Drago, ends up getting a chance to kill one of the really big, notorious uh, sex trafficking bosses. And because he's uh, like a good cop, he doesn't. He goes ahead and arrests him. And... And that's the guy, by the way, that's, uh, you know, Hellboy. The, the guy with kind of like the big face. He was the bad guy in Drive and everything. I'm forgetting his name at the moment. But uh, if you remember his name, throw it in the comments, please. But uh, anyways, Dolph goes ahead and, and spares him because he's a good, honest cop. And then the guy ends up being, you know, not he ends up not being prosecuted. And he ends up jumping on a plane and leaving to Asia. So before that happens, Dolph's wife gets killed. Daughter gets kidnapped by that guy's crime syndicate. His, you know, his henchmen come and do all that. He's left with a disfigured, burned face. And he goes completely vigilante, apeshit. And gets a fake passport, goes to Asia... That's where he teams up with, you know, with, uh, dang it, what's it? <laughs> That's where he teams up with, uh, Ja. I almost, I just said his name too. All right. I got him in another movie as well. I got Ja right here, Tony Ja in The Protector Part 2. All right. This is brand new, sealed with a digital copy of Voodoo. All right, what else do I got? Let's take a little look-see. Return of the Living Dead. That's an official copy, but for some reason I put a sticker on this side. I don't know why. It was kind of dumb. Let's see. I watched this today. Venus Vegas has dude from American Pie and the dude from that, uh, that hospital show. I forgot the damn name of it. it. It was a show that I didn't used to watch, but... This is funny. It's got f comedy, action. There's a heist in there. 
I rated it pretty high. And the crazy thing is I've owned this for years. Finally got around to watching it today. So yeah, definitely check that out if you get a chance. Venus Vegas. I'm not sure if it's streaming. I'm sure. I mean, it's it's got to be on Netflix or Crackle or IMDb somewhere out there. Maybe Prime. Who knows? This is an anime. Didn't get a chance to watch it yet. This is from the horror pack. This was the exclusive. I'm probably... Uh, see, I'm going to be watching movies tomorrow, but my my movie buddy that I'm watching movies with tomorrow doesn't... He doesn't watch horror. And my other movie buddy, which is my neighbor, he mostly watches westerns with me, so I'll probably end up trying to watch something like one of those Django Sartana type movies. Um, let's briefly go over this haul. I don't really have a lot of time, but I got the Protector 2, Harvey and the Magic Museum kids movie. Not sure how choppy or bad the animation is, but sometimes they're good. My, uh, my daughter loves these. I mean, we found one. Uh, called Chloe and that's like one of her favorite movies of all time. That was just a random Dollar Tree buy. Uh, we have The Eyes of Mo The Eyes of My Mother um, in a really nice slip case. It's got a little ding on there but not too bad. I could live with it. A magnet one. I'm a big fan of these magnet movies. They're I think they're wonderful and if you um, if you're not a physical media collector, all you have to do to get every single Magnet movie ever made is um, sub su uh, subscribe to Magnolia. Magnolia is an addition that you can add on to Amazon Prime. So definitely if you're into movies, good movies, um, check out Magnolia. It's a couple dollars per month. It's To be exact, I think it's $5 if you want the whole package. And it's like two or three dollars if you just want like one genre. I got a Morton Downey Jr. documentary. What's up with that? Is that Steve Austin up there? And the random coffee maker. All right, so we got like jumper cables. Yeah, this locker room is kind of funky, but whatever. Pays the bills over here. All right, I got Karma. Don't know a thing about this. Hopefully, I don't have that already. Um, Centurion with the Voodoo copy. Now, I already have the Bodyguard Part 2 for sure with Tony Ja. I remember this cover. I have it, but I do not have the bodyguard part one, nor do I have the double feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I'm gonna find my bodyguard two and sell it for $1. I got inmate zero, zombie movie, 100% wolf, you know, little kids movie, might be fun. This, like a dummy, I I realized that I already have this. I have it on Blu-ray, though, so I'm not sure why I bought the DVD. I think I just was kind of looking at it, and I didn't mean to throw it in my to-buy pile, but I did, and it was too late, and I didn't want to seem like a cheap ass when the lady was ringing me out, and I was I saw it, and I was like, oh, why'd I get... So, whatever, though, it's going to be... This will be, you know... Either a giveaway or I'll sell it for one dollar or whatever. I got 360, a Magnolia one. It's got Anthony Hopkins. It's got Ben Foster. Um, ben Foster's always really good. Haven't seen it. Not sure if I already own it. I don't think I do. I don't remember that one. I bought a few things that I already had, but not a lot. Letters to God. These, this is a family one, probably you know, probably religious. 
These are good. These are really good. I have a couple of religious ones that I like. Um, Matchstick Man. This is an oldie with the old school type of case with the tape top, bottom, and side like the old times. Um, these, I think they call them snapper cases. They're like cardboard other than this plastic part right here. I got a, I got a Cat Williams comedy special, Nine Lives. He's pretty funny. He's, he kind of like reminds me of like a bootleg Chris Rock in a way. I don't know why. I got armed with Mario Van Peebles, Ryan Guzman, um, William Fitchner. Looks pretty interesting. What could go wrong, it says. Has a slip cover and everything. Might be pretty good. This is what I'm kind of like the most expense excited about. The the Grand, Grand Adventures La Gran Aventura Aventura Lego and this one I got Batman in Spanish Batman La Película digital copy included copia digital uh, Black Hawk Down this is I didn't buy this I already I already had that Uh, Tara Willie, Tara Wiley. Looks like a fun kids one. What else? What else? Almost done. I got the Vanishing on 7th Street with digital iTunes copy. A lot of these copies are like 10 years old. They're expired, but luckily they still work. So far they've all worked except for maybe one. But this has iTunes. Now, if your iTunes is linked up with Movies Anywhere, then the movie will appear on all three. You'll get the Voodoo, iTunes, and Movies Anywhere. But you got to get lucky sometimes. All right, I got a J-Lo movie and Mark Anthony. They were, uh, used to be married back in the day. Maybe this is the movie where they met. Who knows? Based on the life of... Okay, yeah, I have not, I've never even heard of this. I didn't even know they made a movie together. Maybe that's where they hooked up or something. Who knows? Not really sure. Um, battle for Incheon Operation Chromite? Chromite? I don't know. Some Asian cinema. It has Liam Neeson in it from Taken. You know, that's him right there. I thought it was De Niro at first, at first glance. But... Moving right along, Luis and the Aliens. This one looked really cool. I watched the uh, the trailer for it, and I thought, like, man, I've seen this so many times at the store. Completely skipped it every single time. Then once I saw the trailer, I was like, oh wow, it looks like pretty darn good. So, and my my kids want to see it, so I grabbed it. Luckily, they still had it. All right, Wilding have no idea what this is. I'm going to check it out soon. It's IFC, so I like those. And last but not least, I got the Flash on Blu-ray. Sometimes you crack these open and you will find a digital copy that still works. Usually expired, but they still work. I think that's about everything. That's my haul. Let me know if any you've seen any of these guys. Let me know if there's any of them that you specifically want me to hurry up and review. And I'll go ahead and do that as quick as possible. All right, friends. Thanks for watching. All right, let's go, little chingon. Let's see what you got. You got it? Yes. Arancito? Yes. Arancito Carnalito? Yes. Ready? Yes. Keep your eye on the ball. Stand better. There you go. Pa oh, it's okay. It's okay. You got this one. Pa Catela. <laughs> Big boy. I'll, I'll go get it. Okay. Good job, buddy. The next baseball star right here. Just Puerto Rican blood. All right. This is one of the joys. One of the joys of gardening. All right. So this raspberry plant is from Rick 
rest in peace Rick great guy great friend passed away he gave me these raspberry plants and I've been enjoying the bees I've been enjoying the bees ever since so yeah this is dedicated to you Rick all right so this is a garden update garden update this is kale there's a couple random tomato plants growing in here I'm gonna leave them I don't know what kind of tomatoes they are because I use a lot of compost and sometimes I'll get random stuff that starts growing so sometimes I leave it all right I got a couple flowers this is a grape a grapevine with no grapes it's only a year old it was taken from a clipping it looked like a, just a piece of wood someone gave me and the guy's like dude just put it in the ground and water it every day before long you'll have grapes so I did that one of them died and one of them actually started growing leaves and stuff and this all came off of that little branch the little branches right there see that branch it was like it looked like a little stick all right so right here I have my scarlet runner beans I do these every single year every single year scarlet runner beans it'll take over the whole fence if uh, if I have about three plants for some reason only one of the bean uh, only one of the beans took so I got one scarlet running bean plant these are these are peppers Thai peppers they're very tiny peppers about this big here's our friend the bee where'd he go where are you he's underneath that's a big bumblebee native bee You can get up close to them. They don't sting. They won't harass you unless you are going after them and trying to swat at them and stuff like that. Then you might have problems. All right, here's a here's a sunflower. It's about what, like two feet tall now. Here, here's from uh, my new friend Sandy Gardener. Also, um, it's a sweet sweet pepper, red marvel. It's, uh, it's, I think, doubled in size since she, since she gave it to me. Here's my, uh, my onion patch. Here's a, a random pepper plant that started growing. I'm gonna, I'll probably leave it. No, maybe I'll cut it, I don't know. Another sunflower. Here's some amaranth. These things will get like 10 feet tall sunflower I have way too many sunflowers I think I think this is a carrot I'm pretty sure all right this is this is a celery from a store-bought just a little tiny piece of celery like this big I put toothpicks in it and put it in a cup of water let it root then planted it now I have a big old celery stalk you know all right here's another sunflower this is the tallest one I think all right up here I have a couple tomato plants and a couple pepper plants the tomato plants were volunteers here's a, a little native bee house or I think leaf cutter bees and whatever little bees want to go in there. They don't really use it that often. But I had a couple a couple uh, holes where the bees went in there and sealed it up and everything like that. Probably stayed there for the winter. It's in a better location now. Now it's in the sun before it was in the shade. So here's a tomato plant. This one is a tomato plant from, again, from Sandy. And it's a yellow, what is it? Yellow pear, so I don't know. I guess there's gonna be yellow in color tomatoes. Here, a couple, a couple volunteer tomato plants right here that I 
I put in uh, containers to get them started, and those are gonna be giveaways. I got a cucumber back there, again from Sandy. A shout out to Sandy, thank you. What else do I have? Oh look, my first tomato of the season right there, a little guy. That's one of the ones from Sandy. Another, another sunflower. This is a sunflower right here. This is a tomato plant. I can't remember the, the name of this one. Oh, here it is. It's a mortgage lifter. It's called a mortgage lifter tomato plant. And right here, this little tiny uh, strawberry patch. It's about like maybe six or seven strawberry plants. They do well in containers, even small containers, and they do well bunched together. So you can do that. That is also from Sandy. So my daughter's been grabbing, you know, one or two strawberries a day. I think today she grabbed, we grabbed four of them. And sometimes I eat them, sometimes she eats them. But as you can see in the back here, within a few days, I'm gonna have at least, at least 15 strawberries. This is a pretty good sized one. So very excited about that. This right here is like a working, it's almost like a compost bin. You know, if you dig through here, you'll find like avocado seeds and stuff like that are trying to grow tree into trees. But, you know, like right here is a big, huge avocado seed. So I try to use this kind, this soil at the bottom of the pots because there's just so much stuff in here that's not even done breaking down so then I have some more another big thing of soil about this much that's actual just you know dirt soil this is half and half it has some compost and um, you know sometimes I'll when I cut my grass I'll throw the grass clippings in there so that's that and then this is about a, a six foot tall cherry tree it's still a baby, so no cherries yet. No cherries yet. Hopefully, uh, maybe this year, maybe the end, of, maybe next year. And I'm new to the cherry tree game, so if you look at, if you look closely, I'll try to zoom in. You see these little, these two little. Um, they're like little beans. They look like little beans. Um, the ants, I was wondering why there's so many ants on my cherry tree, but the ants drink nectar out of these things. So the tree does that on purpose, gives the ants some kind of nectar so that the ants become territorial over the tree. Here, I'll try to close up on if I could find some with ants on it. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. But, you know, here you go. All right, so I'm trying to focus this onto the ants. There you are. See, there's two ants, three ants. They drink nectar out of those little, those little bean looking things. And while doing that, uh, the colony becomes territorial over this tree and they will protect the tree from leaf-eating insects. So if you look closely, a few of my leaves have little tiny holes on them, and I'm sure the ant colony fought them off and got them to leave. So it'll protect the tree. And hopefully they don't eat the cherries. If they do, then I know a little trick. All you have to do is put some Vaseline down here, put a big glob of it, from like here to here put it on thick it won't harm the tree and the ants will be unable to get up um, unless they find another way like uh, something like maybe this fence and then jump on a leaf who knows all right these are some big huge chives they're huge these things I've had it for like three years four years maybe more and yeah, they, I mean, they survive the winter and everything. They're really hardy. 
All right, here's another thing from Sandy. It's a sweet red pepper, uh, red maru, I think, red. It's a sweet red pepper, this one. So it hasn't grown a whole lot yet because it's, I don't think it's getting a whole lot of sun right here. And uh, last but not least, another couple onions, some flower that's not really growing very tall yet. And then each one of these pots over here has a big avocado seed in it that I grabbed out of my compost bin. And these things in the grass right here, these are mustard plants. Mustard plants that, you know, I end up probably just cutting these down because these things get huge. These things will get like six, seven feet tall. And then once they go to seed, I'll have thousands of mustard plants all around. So yeah, I'm gonna be cutting these down soon. These kind of came up randomly and I, it took me a while to figure out what they were. All right, so that's uh, a garden update. Got more stuff over here, but I guess we'll talk about that later.